Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the first two parts we have covered. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We shall start with what is Alteryx workflow and continue with how to create workflow. Please check the caption to jump between the topics. If you are new to the Mind Magics channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials, free webinars, and career enhancing shorts from working professionals. Like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we gonna cover what is the Alteryx workflow. What are the various components of Alteryx workflow? So what is what is a workflow? First of all, a workflow is a set of interconnected tools that work sequentially in any order. So basically the approach of executing a workflow by Alteryx is top to bottom. So the first tool will be executed first and the last will be executed at the very last. So let me go to a link and I will explain you all of the options pertaining to a workflow. I'll show you how to create a workflow. Now go in the file option, the new workflow. It will open a window for you over here. So let us start by using the input tool. We will input some data for our reference. Let me prepare a workflow for you. Just have a attention. I will connect to a XLSX file that is being given by Alpix. I will go to data, the ABC sales workbook. I will Okay, I will take the customer transactions workbook, select the sheet. I will select the output sheet and import all of the data. This time I'm not gonna take the random data. See, this worksheet contains the original data from row number four. So what I will do, I will skip this and Boom, uh, we have created the magic and we have the correct headers now. So let me do one more thing. You need not to put attention on this. I'm doing some operation that I will explain in the upcoming sections, but it's also necessary. See, now have attention at this point. So a workflow is a set of interrelated operations. It is very small workflow. We have taken a file, we have applied some filter operations. So first the input operation has been executed. After that, this tool has been executed. They have dependency on one another. They cannot, uh, cannot be executed in solo. Now I explain what is workflow. I will show you the configuration of a workflow. On the layout direction, how we can read a workflow. We will read it horizontally. The annotation, should we show the annotations? See guys, annotation is quite useful for a tool. It helps you to identify what all operation is being performed. Here we can see that we are importing the customer transaction. Here we can see that we are applying a filter of visits greater than three. Okay, see your workflow is the type of standard workflow at the default time of creation. You can convert your workflow into an analytic app that is app that perform the analytics operations. You can convert them into a macro. So a macro is a component that can be reused again and again. 
it is a workflow component only at the run time do we want to locate the error do we want to limit the conversion error this is the important thing you can have a look at it now the meta info about the workflow do you want to export the meta info about the workflow yes if you want to export you can uh, refer to this link i will leave up to you to explore it so the third step is once the workflow is created how you gonna save this workflow so what you can do you can type control f as most of the application support this or you can visit file save workflow you can browse the location okay i am saving most of the workflow in this alteric series and this workflow name would be the workflow explanation okay what type do you want to save it as do you want to save it as all files and do you want to save it as yxmd so yxmd is the extension of the workflow there are multiple extension that you want to see in our videos out of those there is yxmc that is a macro extension yxdb that is alteryx database file yxmd the metadata file of a workflow uh, right now we'll save it as yxmd and we have saved i'll show you couple of options more i will show you that what if you click right click on a tool what options that you can probably use you can cut a tool you can copy a tool you can delete a tool from the workflow you can zoom a tool you can view all the possible connections so it is an input tool we will right click on this tool and we can view all the possible connections so it is showing that the output connection are two the input connection are input data input data the connection type is wired we can have a wireless connection to let us select the wireless connection and click ok okay in in our case it is not showing the wireless connection but some tool can support the wireless connection the in, input tool doesn't the cancel option what if we are having the multiple connection multiple input tools over here one two three four five so this view possible connection option will be required then now insert after okay you can insert a lot of tool after this tool you can insert after false means you can insert after the false output of the filter tool add all browses okay this is very very good option you can add browse after let's suppose you want to have a look at result you can obviously have a look at result in the bottom window but this is the most preferable option okay have a look at browse tool and you will get to know what all the information is being returned now let us move to the different option we can convert this tool into a macro like let's suppose we want to use this workflow again and again we can make this workflow as a macro that i gonna explain in the upcoming videos so that's all about the options that we got on right clicking on a tool now the next option is when we cl uh, right click on the workflow name workflow explanation dot yxmd i right click on this you can duplicate a workflow from here like you can create a copy of this one you can open the containing folder like on which folder this workflow is being saved you can close all of the workflow at once let's uh, you are having four or five different workflows opened over here you can close all of them close all but this rest of the workflows can be closed from here but this will open and close is just close this workflow so it is uh, basically closing and duplicating the workflow options now guys when you right click on the space other than this right click you can zoom zoom in zoom out 
okay zoom in so right now we are just having three tools what if there is 35 tools over here you can you can't see all of the tools at once so you need to select the zoom out options over here and uh, have a look at your events let me just have a look at this and i'll tell you okay cache and run workflow this option so what this will do it will cache all of the result in the alteryx temporary space so most of the tools support the cache operation most of the tool doesn't what do i mean by the cache operation is if you talk about this tool there are true option there are false option so the true result and the false result will be cached in the temporary workspace of alteryx that i gonna explain you later in this videos like why why this is being used but just remember the cache workflow option comes from here and it will turn into a blue icon see you can see it will turn into a blue icon so that's all about the alteryx workflow and its component we'll meet you next video